Hi guys, it's Major reporting live for AintiLatina.com and I am here with DJ Ben Bono! <laughs> Mona, where are you from? I'm from here, Brooklyn, born and raised. My dad is Panamanian and he's an immigrant from the 70s. And my mom is a New Yorker, so she's born in the South Bronx. Panama and Puerto Rico had two totally distinctive cultures. Yeah. So how was that growing up in your household? I grew up very Boricua in a sense, like when it came to like cuisine, like music, slang, way of talking. Even in my dad's side, like in Panama, they really grew up with a lot of Boricua artists. So like people like El Gran Combo, and like Isma Rivera and all these cats that like back in the day their careers blew up in Panama. Like Panama like accepted them with open arms when sometimes Puerto Rico wouldn't just because of like the color of their skin. How did music or becoming a DJ mm -hmm. like really make you accept your identity? As a DJ, it was just kind of like I don't know, like my like my roots in that sense were more than in general. Like we're more than Ruben Blades. So it was just like a waking call, like researching and seeing like what I could find. Like Los Racas was mainly, I think that was kind of the focal point for me. That's because like I felt like there was no other like United States artist or group that was like Panamanian and representing fullest. So I think DJing really helped in general, just like connecting me to my roots and like indigenous culture, um, just my ancestry alone, it did a lot. How did you start with DJing? It was a journey for sure. Like when I started, it was kind of like in college and in the beginning, it was very like just entertaining. It was a party thing. And then when I got out of college, that's when like, I kind of was like, ooh, like I want to just try this out some more, but I never thought like it would lead me to this. <laughs> like, I think that whole like interest kind of peaked when I started like, putting together social justice and just like knowing more about my culture and what do I want to put in a party that I haven't seen already or experienced. Do you have a problem with people labeling you as a Latin <laughs> DJ? I, I try to keep in mind like the gigs that I take and then like play shit people could like like sing and scream right. to and shit and also things that I want to teach people. Mm -hmm. um, so it's also about like connecting generations together and that New York lifestyle growing up in new york as like an immigrant first generation second generation person of color etc who are your musical influences it's all about my feel like if i'm feeling sexy like i'm gonna throw some fucking reggaeton and i'm gonna be like perreo like my life funk i don't know kind of a spur in the moment when i'm playing like i kind of feed off the crowd how do you prepare for an event for me personally if i'm doing like a guest set at like a special party I'm like, all right, what do I want to say? What do I want to say right now? And like, if I'm doing a Boricua event, I like to like center it on the Boricua diaspora. Mm -hmm. Or if it's about women, I want to make sure it's like I'm showcasing that. Like, I could go on and on like playing like a woman set with like hip hop and R&B is like, there's no problem. When, when it's like Afro Latino culture, I'm like, please. And like, I say this everywhere, I'm like, Wherever you are, like black woman artists, please hit me up, like contact me, let's work. I wanna start like a database of like women artists, women of color that are like killing it, that are doing dance music. Like I want more women to be in it. I want more like gender non-conforming LGBTQ to be in a part and like have their shine. Because I know like our content is like we either empower ourselves more or we like we do the flip and we're like, yeah, I'm owning my sexuality because like Evie Queen who just came not so long ago. I'm it's so like get on my lot, it's like the anthem, it's like the perfect example to show like what you can do to music turning it around and being like, you know, still like I'm all of this in a bag of chips, but like you're not, you know, just showing consent and all these things. The Latinx music world has a lot more work to do. I want us to envision our individual futures, the futures for our communities, the futures for our world. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Yes.